Hello everybody, today I've got something a little bit different for you. I'm going to show you the inside of my van and let you see how far I've gotten on that. I really haven't done much, but it looks phenomenal guys. I love it. This is going to be good. But what I'm going to do today is we're going to have a head to head vacuum, head to head. In this corner, we have the cordless lithium black and decker dust buster. And in this corner, we have the 12 volt audio vox 25 year old 1996 that came with the van vacuum so my main reason to have a vacuum is to clean up kitty litter because yes kip is coming with most definitely and sadly i might have to bring those damn ferrets with each one of those glasses has exactly 98 grams of kitty litter in it so a little more about that black and decker I got it from Walmart, it cost $89. It does have a removable filter. The replacement filters, if you do have to clean them, they are washable, but if you do have to replace them, they're not too bad. I think they were like 18 bucks for six of them or five of them, something like that. Of course, the audio box, that just has the regular old sock over the end filter with a little rubber flap that never seals shut so stuff falls out the end. Let's see what they got. I don't know exactly what the runtime is on this. This is just a quick little video, guys. Let's get this test underway and let's just see if this vacuum is worth purchasing for van life because that's what it's about. It's about van life. This is about van life. Is this vacuum good for vans? Well, first of all, you gotta have an inverter just to charge this thing. So if you don't have solar and you don't have an inverter, forget about it. So let's just go like this. There's one. There's two. All right, first up, the audio box. <laughs> Dust flying everywhere, guys. Ooh, look at that, not bad. All right, I'm gonna keep it tilted back because it will spill out. Now this does have an extension. It's it's hard to pull out, but it does have an extender, which is pretty nice. But let's do it with the extension in. Okay, oh, we got a hornet. Got a hornet that wants to hang out. All right, now I'm gonna carefully take this out. We remember this side was the old audio box and this side was the new one. Let's see. Let's see what we got, guys. Well, the audio box did leave more behind, but to be honest with you, that truck is really loud. I just don't know if that's worth $89 to me. Um, it does have more noticeably more suction, so uh, I don't know. I think we should just do another quick test here. All right, this test, I'm just going to sprinkle some up there just see how it does I don't know if you can see it's probably not bright enough but there's a little flap here that's the little flap that keeps it from falling out all right let's see what she's got full speed This is where I'm pretty sure that this machine is going to blow the other one away. Let's get the... Oh gosh. Let's see what the old audio box has got. That old audio box keeps surprising me every single time. Now yeah, there's probably still some grits hidden down in there, but not that bad. You know, it's it's leaking out the front, but I think I can take it apart and fix that. That Black & Decker isn't that great. 
for $90, I don't want it. That's not that good. It has good suction, but really, compared to that audio box, it's not that much better. Here's a quick little shot of how it looks now. You can see I got a new dresser in the back. My bed still looks the same. Still got the fridge in the same spot. Loaded up on wipes, because they're on clearance for a dollar at Walmart. The microwave is all bolted down. It's just a 700 watt cheap microwave that I got at Walmart. It was $50, plus tax. But for 700 watts, it seems to do really, really good. And then I got that other dresser up front, the three drawer stir light they had at Walmart. They didn't have the white. I wish they had the white. I wanted to stay the same colors, but I wasn't gonna put in another online order just for that, just for the color white. And, and gray is fine. I don't know if it's gonna stay up there. Not sure. This is it, guys. This is This is the van life. I'm just about ready. I've still got these screwed shut just to keep that wood from warping because it's shrinking really bad. There used to be no gaps in the wood. But as you can see now, all those gaps are getting pretty big. I don't mind. So now I'm just waiting for my license to come in the mail. I renewed my license last September and then I, I didn't know. So I had my mail forwarded to my parents' house when I was down south for the winter in Yuma. You can't forward your driver's license, at least here in Minnesota you can't. So then when I got back in early May, I went down about hmm, probably the first week in May, towards the end of the first week in May, I went down to the DMV and I told them about it and she said no problem. She clicked a button and said your other one, your new one should be here in 7 to 10 working days. So it's been about 20 working days and it's still not here. So I had to set an appointment because this COVID crap is still happening you still have to set an appointment just to go in. that's it for that rant i'm not really upset about it it's just holding me back at this point because i do have my cooktop i have stuff coming i still have my cooktop coming and some lights i've got some more stuff coming this isn't completely done yet and it won't be completely done it won't be completely done till i get on the road and realize what other stuff i need to put in here so all right, guys, that's it for this video. Point of this video, I don't know, maybe that those stupid Black & Decker vacuums still suck to this day. They're not that great. You can pay $90 for a vacuum, and it's not any better than a 1980s audio or 1990s audio box vacuum. Yeah, in my van's pretty freaking sweet. Boy, I'm so happy. See you in the next video. Peace.